Hey, good morning. How are you? Welcome along. It's th- it's Friday. Do you know what? It's the 13th of um, January 2023. Friday the 13th. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your 8am movement snack and I'm just doing my shoelaces up, so bear with me. Just look at the ball spot if you want. <laughs> just doing these shoelaces up so I'm ready to rush out the door on my trainers. Uh, laces, I should say. So, uh, welcome aboard. This is your ATM movement tonight, just a little bit earlier. I've got to take uh, Eva to school this morning before I head off to work. So, normally I'm, I manage to be able to do this one at 8 o'clock on a Friday normally. <clears throat> but not today, because I've got to be out the house for 8 o'clock at the latest to get her across to the other side of town for school. So, uh, we've got an early one. So, if anybody's going to join, you come and say hello as you come on board. If not, if you're coming on catch up, that's not a problem. I'll see you on catch up, and we'll uh, we'll have a little chin wag. We'll spare some, spend some time together um, before we start our day. Now, hopefully, comments are going to come up for me today because I haven't had any comments the last few days. I can see we've got uh, some people coming on board, so hopefully, we will um, see some comments coming up as well. So, if you if you are coming in, pop us a comment and let's see if it works, shall we? Be good. I don't know why. It plays up every now and again, but it's been played up all week this week, as far as comments are concerned. I've had a very few days, I think I, think I can count on less than one hand how many days I've had of comments, so uh, that's not good. Anyway, I'm just going to go grab my tea. I've just popped it on the side here. I'll be back in a sec. Just, um... What was that? What's the, thing? What's the term I'm looking for? Moisten. That's it. I'm just going to moisten my vocal cords. <laughs> there we go. I thought, I, thought gonna go, I was going to say refresh, but it's not about refreshing, really. Is. <gasps> comments are working! Ah, Gillian, good morning. Thank you for popping me a comment in. I can see that things are happening now. Uh, no rain here yet this morning. Very much the same here. I think it has rained during the night. It was getting it was quite windy last night. Um, but it's it's not raining at the moment, but it has rained. So we'll see how the day pans itself out, shall we? You know, um, it's uh, hey, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, we can't we can't change it, can we? We can just live with it. So hopefully you've got a good day ahead, Gillian. I'm off to see the hairdressers later on. Get me hair cut, get me hair chop, get the sides back down to where they should be, rather than this bushiness. <laughs> Drives me mad. Wife loves it. She's oh, you love it when it's all bushy. She doesn't talk like that, but she likes the bushiness. And I'm going, nah, nah, hate it, hate it. Got to go. It's got to go short. <laughs> so uh, that's my day. Um, I've got um, work straight from here, um, and then I've got hair. Uh, so I think it's only work. I, I only um, normally doesn't always work out. I end up covering a lot of shifts, um, but I've got this afternoon off. So I'm, um, I'll have my air cut later and then I've got an online class to do later and then that's me set for the weekend. See what the weekend brings, eh? Be nice. Uh, D, hi D, how, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, love the green shirt. <laughs> I hate it. It's one I have to wear. I don't like, I don't like it on me, but hey, if you like it, that's great. A lot of people say, oh, it looks really good on you. And I go, no. <laughs> I'm not keen on it myself. I'm not keen on the colour of me. But people always say it looks quite nice. So thank you for the comment. And uh, it must be about your bedtime. Uh, not far off anyway. Hope things are okay for you. D over there in the old Canada. Um, I hope it's not too cold as well because I know you get some really cold snaps, don't you, uh, where you are. Uh, Gillian, uh, taking granddaughter to uh, morning school, then a bit of a cleaning for you. So obviously you've got the same as me taking granddaughter to school. Um, and then a bit of work after that. It's it's like we're twins. It's like we're twins, Gillian. Uh, Margaret Wood, good morning to you. Uh, good to have you with us for this early snack on a Friday um, morning. It is an early one, simply so I can get out and get the granddaughter to work. Right, we are at 7.30, so I'm going to have a quick last sip of my drink. There we go. Lose the comments off the bottom of the screen, and we're ready to hit the road running with our 3, 2, 1, shall we? So we'll have a... Good morning, everybody. Welcome along. You're with myself, Dave Montgomery from Later Life Training. Today is Friday the 13th of January 2023. All the best things in life have happened to me on Friday the 13th. So let's get rid of that, you know, be afraid of Friday the 13th. 
This is your 8am movement snack. It's just a little bit earlier. It's 7.30. So, if you want to catch up, pop us a comment in. Let us know. Uh, you spend a bit of time with us and uh, we'll... I'll come back to you later on, yeah? Okay, let's get ourselves going. Standing cert firstly is where I'm coming up to. So, uh, we're going to make a choice to start off with. Are we going in standing or are we going in seats? I'm going to put a little bit of a backlight in. It's a bit more of a natural colouring. There we go. Um, so, are we going to go in standing or are we going to go in seated? That is the first decision. In standing, as always, we've got to have fixed external support. Seated, we've got a strong, sturdy chair. Now, I'm on carpet. I could have my socks. I could have bare feet. But I've not because I've got to rush out. But if you are... That's an opportunity for you, yeah? If you are on a hard floor, however, it needs to be sensible, comfortable footwear. Now, just to give you that reminder, because we're always getting, still getting new people joining us and watching us on catch up a lot of the time. So um, that is really important that we readdress that every time. Okay, let's have a look at our posture before we start to do a circulation boost, and then move into our three threes before, uh, we, before we get the day started, really, all right? So posture wise, in standing, heels in line with knees, knees in line with hips, lift and lengthen to grow that a little bit taller, bring the shoulders up, take them back and press them down. So we've opened this rib cage, we've given some room for the lungs to expand. Now in seated, we do all of that alignment as well, but we need to bring ourselves into a working position. So bringing ourselves away from the back of the chair, and then it's a lift and a shift to bring ourselves into the front third. Now once we're sat in the front third of the chair and we've lined everything up, we can get ourselves going. Lifting the heels off the floor, starting to get some movement happening into the lower part of our body. Exactly the same in standing as well. Now, we know that our circulation boosting is about starting small and making bigger. That's the way that we increase the intensity. It's not about going faster. So from here into a march, lifting the foot clear of the floor, getting some movement happening into that lower part of the body. Now, in seated, we can get a little bit of muscle uh, discomfort here, a little bit of muscle fatigue. So it might be that you want to take that into a diagonal toe tap forward. Choice is yours, okay? Standing, we're using our support if we need to. It might be in front, it might be to the side, wherever it is. Use it if you need to, okay? Pop an arm in, just the one arm to start off with, driving that elbow backwards so it's a purposeful movement. It's not just a swing from the shoulder. And then changing hands to the side. Now, if we're not using support, we can do that as many times as we want. If our support's in front, we can do it as many times as we want. We just need to manage that we've always got a hand on the support. Therefore, if the support's to the side, it's a little bit more involved because we've got a turn involved in here as well. So, it's a case of lose the arm, make the march a little bit smaller, take as many steps as you need to turn it into your support, carry on until you turn around to the other side, bring the hand off, and then away we go with that other hand. And then finally, <clears throat> in seated and in standing, if we're not using support, we can put both arms in with both legs. So we've got bigger movement happening throughout the whole of the body. And this is gonna ask the body to work a bit harder. So we're gonna ask the heart to beat a little bit faster. We're gonna be asking the lungs to breathe and work a little bit harder as we breathe heavier to get that oxygen in. We should feel that happening. And we might feel that we feel a little bit warmer as well. And that's great. That's what our, cir what it boost our circulation boosting is all about. Boosting the circulation. Clues in the title, really. <laughs> All right, from there, lose the arms, bring the feet a little bit smaller, back into a heel raise, and then to a pause. And we're ready to move into our first trio of movements. It starts with our head and shoulders. Base of support. Let's always start at the bottom. Work up, okay? So base of support, heels in line with knees, knees in line with hips. That's lift and lengthen, and it's exactly the same as seated. Let me come a little bit closer and we start with our shoulders. Lifting them towards our ears and then pressing back down so we get this good range of motion. So as we press back down, we're trying to take it past where we first started. So a lift and a press. And we're looking for around about four or five of these. That's all, we don't have to do huge amounts of them. And once we've done the four or five, we can take it into a rotational movement. So bring them forward, up past your earlobes, shoulder blades together at the back and down. And this cyclical motion allows us to get activity into those shoulders, it allows us to get movement happening into those shoulders. And if we make it kind of slow and control, we can get the best range of motion that we can. Now, once we've done our four or five of those, let's take a pause and have a slight reset of this base of support, taking it a little bit wider. 
We're going to be turning the head, so have some support available in case you need it. Eye line stays level. We turn to the side, we pause in the centre, and then we turn the other way. Constantly using our arms during the day, constantly turning our head. This is why we focus into these two movements to get the best possible range of motion that we can. Four or five on each way. Remembering this little pause in the centre because that's the opportunity for the body to adjust itself. The system in our ears just go, okay, all right. I know what's happening. We'll pause. We'll make sure we know where we are and where we go the other way. Now, once you've done your four or five, take a pause there and let's head into the back of our head, back of our neck, really. So let me come in here and the movement is to straighten out this part of the head, all right? Eye line is staying level, which means we're going to give ourselves another chin. Fingers on the chin as a guide, so we either keep them on as we come back, but we don't press, or we leave them where they are, so that's a place to come back to. Here's our movement. Restacking the head, back arm to the top of the spine. As I say, you either use the fingers just as a guide to make sure that the eye line stays level, or as a point to where you started but we're not pressing. So we're not pressing that head back, we're drawing it back ourselves and restacking it onto the top of our spine, getting that good alignment down through the spine. Four or five of those is what you're looking for and make them count, yeah? Once you do four or five, take a pause and we're back into a circulation booster. It's legs only, so we've got those feet moving in seated, we might have that diagonal toe tap. We're looking at 30 seconds, so it's not the whole thing again. 30 seconds of movement as we come from this top part into the middle part of our body. So it's very much like a 1980s game show, it's a top, middle and bottom, yeah? Middle part of our body, it's all about this trunk. Now, the trunk is working continually during the day. Just standing or seated, when we're supporting that upper part of our body, the trunk is switched on and it's working. But it also works in all the times when we move, turning to the side, reaching for things, those sorts of activities. So let's get the best possible mobility out of it. As we reach the 30 seconds, bring it down, pause, and it's a reset. Now this time we're gonna take the feet outside of our hips in line with our shoulders, so we've got a really good base support. The movement is a side bend, straight down, straight up with a pause, and then the other way. And if you're using your support in front, you change hands every time. To the side, slightly different. Into the support, back to the center, and then you go back to that support. You do your four or five on that side and as many steps as you need to turn. In seated, it's about your bottom. It's all about your bum, right? So the bum cheeks stay firmly on that chair as you reach down. Therefore, we're making it a lengthen through the side of the body. We're not making it a lean. So we lengthen, we come back up, we pause, and then we take it the other way down on the other side. Four or five on each side is what we're looking for, okay? Reaching down, pausing, reaching down, the other way. Think about reaching down to get something out of a lower cupboard. Think about popping your hand down the side of the sofa to get that pound coin that's fallen out. It's those sorts of movements. We do that a lot during the day. Now, once you've done your four or five on each side, getting that best range of motion that you can, let's head into a trunk twist. Now, here it's about making sure that the pelvis stays still. So we want all the movement to happen here. So soften those knees. Now, the movement is to turn to the side with the trunk, pause in the center, and then turn the other way. Now, hands in support and front, take it across to the hip that you're turning towards, back in, and then change across to the other side. Same as with your side bend, with a side movement, we're into the support, back to the center, and then we change again. Seated, We've got some input from our bottom, haven't we? So in standing, you might want to use that support against your bum or against your hips, because now from here, I can feel, as I turn, if I feel the weight difference, or I feel a weight difference between my buttocks, so I feel one of the buttocks is taking more weight or it's lifting off one of them, I know I've got movement into those hips, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Seat belts, there's your movement look. Popping your second arm in your coat, there's your movement. Yeah, it's all those sorts of activities. But even just rolling over in bed, that's a movement where this is involved with as well. Turning to talk to a friend or pick something up that's by the side of you. 
four or five on each side. Now, once you've done those four or five, let's go into a back extension. So here it's about the lower back. Same base of support, support to the side if you need it. Pelvis needs to stay still this time, so we're not tipping it forward or backwards. So get that neutral position and then lift and extend. Come back in and release. So lift, extend, in and release. That's what it's about. Four or five of those. In seated, it's exactly the same. And again, in seated, I get that sensory input. So once more in standing, you might want to use your support to give you that feedback. Lift and extend. Get that good movement happening, feeling it into your lower back. Four or five of those, make them count, yeah? But make sure that pelvis stays still, we don't tip it, so we focus everything. It's not a lean back, it's an extension. So it's this lift firstly, and then that extend. Once you're doing four or five, have a pause, circulation booster number three, it's a boosty boosty into the top half of the body this time only, yeah? So it's not again the full thing, it's another 30 seconds of movement. Just to reboost as we head down into our ankle, feet and toes, our final trio. So we've gone top, we've gone middle, now we're going bottom. If you're in seated and standing's not where you're looking to go to, this is an opportunity for you to go over one of the trunk movements or one of the head and shoulder movements again, or come with us. Right. As we come to that 30 seconds, let's make this a little bit smaller, bring it back and into a pause, and head into ankle, feet and toes. Standing firstly, have support, use it if you need to. Even if you don't need to, you might want to use it so you can focus all of your movement into that ankle, not into balance, all right? The leg that is doing the support, the knee stays softened, the other foot comes in in line with it, toe on the floor, we lift to put the heel, in exactly the same place. Now when the heel's down, we splay the toes. As we come across, we scrunch them, and then we point the toes down towards the floor. Once you're comfortable with it, we can take the eye line to the front, and we get that movement there. Yep. Now, exactly the same in seated. We just need to make an adjustment as far as the foot is concerned, so we've got room to be able to do it. So there's our toe, there's our heel. We do that exact same movement. But we might find, and you might find, that you get a better movement if you come back into the chair. Sit to the back, but still support yourself. Yeah, let's not switch this upper body off. Take the foot out and just bring it off the floor, about an inch or two inches off the floor. There's the equivalent of the toe onto the floor. And that's where I'm scrunching my toes. And then I'm bringing the toes in towards the shin, extending the heel away, and there's that heel movement, and I'm splaying my toes. So there to there. Now, four or five of these, but it's not about strength. So if you want to pop your foot down between every one, have a little breather, reset, and away you go. Do so between every two if you need to. And certainly don't let that, allow that leg to drift up. Keep it down low so it's actually not strength work, it's mobility work. Once you're in four or five, change to the other side. And if we have a look at it in standing, here is that heel toe movement. So as we step through, the heel comes down, we roll through onto the ball of the foot and then up onto the toes. That is your Friday the 13th morning movement snack. Have a great day. Stay safe. Avoid ladders. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Toodles, everybody. Bye-bye.